In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to create folders to store your files in inside of Box.com. Remember, Box.com for all of my classes are how we store all of the files that we create so that they can be accessed uh, at a later date. So I'm going to open up an instant of the internet. <clears throat> And I know it's already at Google, but I'm going to go to Google.com just to, you know, continue demonstrating how you get to places. <clears throat> so I'm at Google. Um, I could type in box.com right here, or I could go up to here and go just like that. So you have to log into your account, of course. <clears throat> now, as you can see, I have way more mini files than you have. I probably have a total of about, I don't know, 4,000 files, uh, but I'm going to go to <clears throat> this area right here, and of course you might be in Orientation to Technology, you might be in STEM, you might be in CAD CAM 1, Production, CAD CAM 2, Production 2, whatever, 3D printing, whatever class you're in, <clears throat> uh, but I have a few files here that are starting to build up in my Box.com account that I don't want out here just hanging out outside of a folder. And the reason we're creating folders is you want to have a system of storing your files that is intuitive, meaning uh, it's very obvious where the file I'm looking for would be. So for instance, if I have a CAD file, which is this DXF file right here, <clears throat> I'm going to create a folder called CAD because that's self-evident. If I'm looking for a file that's CAD related, I should look in my CAD folder. It's just like if I'm looking for a file that's in my Orientation to Technology class, I should look at the Orientation to Technology folder. So, um, <clears throat> this video is primarily for the Orientation to Technology students because after this class you kind of know what you're doing. But of course, <clears throat> Just because you've done it once doesn't mean you're going to remember how to do it. And so this will be available to all my classes, though I'm focusing primarily on orientation to technology. So to create a folder, I'm going to go up to the word new that has this plus sign. I'm going to go down to folder. And my first, I, I tend to do all of my online stuff in caps because <clears throat> caps are easier and quicker to read online than lowercase words. So the first one I'm going to create is going to be called images. And I'm going to click create. <clears throat> and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down and get my image and I'm going to put it inside of that. <clears throat> so if I click on my image, there it is. Okay. So the next one I'm going to, I'm going to do is uh, going to be called CarveCo. Because we have CarveCo files. <clears throat> and our CarveCo files, if you remember from the previous videos, are going to be our .art because CarveCo used to be called ArtCam. And so they didn't change the extension when they changed the name. So I'm going to throw it into my CarveCo folder. Then I'm going to go back up to folder. I'm going to call it CAD. And I'll create. And my CAD folders are DXF files, DWG files. That's typically what we're going to create in our CAD system. And I also have this JPEG, but I need to reach, need to control what it's called. You don't want to let the computer name things. You want to name them yourself. And I believe this was Celtic Weed. You want to control what it's called, because if you don't control what it's called, it will give you trouble later. And, uh, for instance, um, when you're loading images to your ePortfolio, if you don't control what they're called, this is the most common thing that happens. You load an image into your gallery tool, you load it in, and suddenly it's not the image you loaded. It's an image that's already in there. And the reason for that is because you have an image that's, let's say, called 55. And the new image you loaded was also called 55. 
So it just reverts back to the original image, 55, and you don't have your new image. And that's because you didn't control what it was called. And so the last one we will create will be called Mastercam. Now we don't have a Mastercam file yet, but when we do, we will load our file into that. And this is good for any class that you do computer work for me. And so that's how you create folders inside of box.com.